What's up ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to show you how to make the only art generator that you will ever need, all thanks to this graph mapper. Make whatever kind of arc you want, simply by moving around these points. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with a curve, I'm going to place it here, next a brep to serve as our wall. Now let's assign both of these elements. So we, we add in a curve, we select it. Same thing with the wall using a brep. Now for the first group, let's add in a move, add it in there, a Z value. And in this case, I'm gonna put a number slider of around 10 connect it into there and let's bring this to about four. This this will serve as the base height for our curve. Let's add in a middle or in this case a curve a curve middle and an extrusion. Extrusion. Okay. Let's let's place in our base and our value as well. For our prep we will get the direction for our extrusion. And to do this, we just need to write in the construct rep. Connect it there. Let's get ourselves in list item. Place our edges there. As for the index, number slider of a value of about 10. And here you you want to make sure you're selecting one, one of these edges that represents your uh, wall thickness. And usually the number four works best for, for me, so we're gonna go with that. Next, get an STL line and go direction, length, and then using any vertices into, a, into our start point. Let's bring this into a group. I'm gonna call this one direction. Let's set up our endpoints. Bring in our geometry. Let's add in a line. Let's connect our start point there. And now let's add in a rotate 3D. Let's place the endpoint into our into our geometry. And uh, let's bring the midpoint here into our center. The geometry goes into the endpoint. And uh, as for the uh, axes, let's use our STL line down here. And we should get a line like this. Nicely done. Next up, let's get ourselves um, the, a, a divide curve. Connect it into, into, into there. And uh, 10 points should be about, about enough for this operation. Let's group this up here. Let's name this uh, arc baseline. Now let's uh, get ourselves a construct, actually a deconstruct point, deconstruct point right there. Connect our, our points into here. Next, we get ourselves a, re a remap numbers. Let's copy and paste this item over here. Let's get ourselves a uh, bounds. And let's bring our Z component into both of these here, like that. And let's bring our domain here into, into our source value. Now we can get ourselves a graph mapper. Place this into, into, into there, and then the output values into our value input of the remap component. Let's bring our domain into, into our target. Like that. And now we can get ourselves a construct point. Bring this value into here. And now let's also connect the X and the uh, Y value. The, the Z value is the, is the only one that really requires us to make any kinds of changes whatsoever. Tidy it 
you to set up nicely. And now to see the, the curve transform, I'm gonna first test a Bezier curve. And as you can see, as I move these, these around, the curve will now begin to change. And we can get ourselves an interpolate points to see the end result. Let's hide all of these here. We can also hide these on the back to make it a little a little bit easier. Okay, and as you can see here, as I change this curve, we can now make whatever changes we uh, want. And of course, you can test it, this out with uh, other graph types. So if I want to go with a conic, same uh, principle like that and you can and you can also add add more kinds of curves if you if you want to also with a sign value of course uh, be careful that this does not mess up your uh, geometry when you are making your extrusion I'm gonna go back to a Bezier curve and I'm gonna keep it at these values for now group these up I'm gonna call this one arc profile to build the full arc let's get some endpoints connect our curve there let's also get ourselves a uh, line simple line bring your endpoint into, into, into the start point and bring your uh, midpoint here on the, the very back into your endpoint like that next up let's get ourselves a mirror curve let's bring our line into the curve here and and our main profile into the geometry okay next let's get ourselves a rule surface bring the curve B into there and now our initial profile into into the curve a we can now hide this one bring these down a little a little bit now let's get ourselves a region union region union let's flatten these down bring in our surface like that and now let's bring our initial extrusion here from the back all the way to the front and with your shift key join it into the curves we can now hide these okay now let's get ourselves a uh, boundary surface we uh, we want to keep this silhouette completely flat and now to make the ex the, the extrusion into our wall let's let's join our new surface into into the base and let's pick up on our SDL line here on the very back and join it into our direction. And this should give us the full extrusion of our new new arc, which then we can change and, and, and adapt as we see fit. Let's group these values up. This one's gonna be the full arc. Okay, and to finish off, let's go back here to our initial rep. Let's get ourselves a solid difference. Let's connect it into, oops, into there. And now we can bring it all the way up to the very front here. And we can connect our extrusion into the reps B. We can now hide this and uh, also, we can hide this here because it's just going to mess up our view. Now, let's get ourselves a preview. Place it into there and get and get a uh, color swap, color swatch. Make it there. Let's give it a uh, 50 hue. Accept. 50 hue. Accept. Okay. We can now we can now hide this one here, and uh, 
that's how you set up your ultimate arc generator. I'm going to call this one result. So now if you come up here to your point at the very end of your of your of your, your curve, you can then easily make the the adjustments you want on its length. If you go back here, you can easily adjust its uh, height. So for example, three and maybe five. Okay. And the, mo the most important of all, adjusting the curve. And you can essentially do any curve you want just by changing this uh, graph map. Okay, hope you've liked this uh, tutorial. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you here next time. Cheers.